Huawei, a leading global provider of information and communications technology (ICT) infrastructure and smart devices, has made significant strides in chip manufacturing despite facing numerous challenges from established competitors and trade restrictions. Huawei has ambitious plans to restart the manufacturing of high-end mobile system on chips as early as 2023. In this video, we will delve into how Huawei broke through the chip manufacturing wall to become a major player in the industry. So don't go away and keep watching. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. Huawei has teamed up with China's leading chipmaking firm, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corp. SMIC, to build an advanced, 7 nanometer processor that sits at the heart of its latest flagship smartphone. The manufacturing of 7 nanometers chips is a complex process with high defect density. However, Huawei is reportedly willing to invest heavily to improve the production yield, which is believed to be around 50%. The company is working closely with SMIC to reduce defect density and improve yields. Huawei and SMIC have been blacklisted by the US government since 2020, which restricts their access to advanced manufacturing tools and technologies. Despite these restrictions, Huawei has managed to produce a cutting-edge chip using SMIC's second-generation 7 nanometers class fabrication process. Huawei's Kirin 9000S system on chip which powers its new Mate 60 Pro smartphone, is a testament to the company's breakthrough in chip manufacturing. This chip is rumored to be made by SMIC using its 7 nanometers class fabrication process. Huawei, founded in 1987, has grown phenomenally over the years to become a global leader in the tech industry. It is the poster child for China's dynamic tech sector, transitioning from a small manufacturer of telephone exchange switches to a global leader in the tech industry. Huawei is now the world's largest producer of telecom equipment, and it has emerged as one of the largest smartphone manufacturers in the world. Despite facing U.S. sanctions in 2019 that restricted its access to crucial American technology, Huawei demonstrated resilience and made a remarkable comeback. The company has become synonymous with resilience, managing to claw its way back to smartphone market prominence. Huawei's strategies that fueled its resurgence include doubling down on domestic suppliers, building its own app ecosystem, Huawei mobile services, and focusing on developing its own software solutions. In the digital era, chips play a vital role in powering our digital world and driving technological advancements. Semiconductors have followed an exponential trend called Moore's Law, roughly doubling the number of transistors that can fit on an integrated circuit every two years. This has enabled the creation of smaller devices, like smartphones, capable of computational power far greater than the massive, room-sized mainframe computers of yesteryear, and paved the way for machine learning, cloud computing, autonomous vehicles, and other computationally intensive technologies. The global semiconductor market could still expand at a compound annual growth rate of 10% from 2021 to 2026. Electronic devices will need an increasing number of chips as they become more advanced. New growth markets, such as wearables, home automation devices, driverless cars, augmented reality, and i-powered services, will all require a growing number of chips. So what are the challenges faced by Huawei in entering the chip manufacturing sector dominated by companies like Intel and AMD? 1. Technological challenges. The manufacturing of advanced chips, such as 7 nanometers chips, is a complex process with high defect density. Huawei has had to invest heavily to improve the production yield, which is believed to be around 50%. 2. Trade restrictions. Huawei and its partner SMIC have been blacklisted by the U.S. government since 2020, which restricts their access to advanced manufacturing tools and technologies. This has potentially hindered Huawei's ability to manufacture new laptops and phones at scale. 3. Supply chain disruptions. The trade and export bans have led to sluggish earnings in recent years, including dips in profits and smartphone sales, as well as disruptions to Huawei's supply chain. This has prompted the vendor to diversify its product focus and chip suppliers. 4. Dominance of Intel and AMD. 
Intel has tended to dominate all sectors of the CPU market, including high-end performance processors. AMD, on the other hand, has focused on lower-cost, budget-friendly middle- and low-range chipsets. Despite AMD offering compelling CPU options in various segments, Intel remains the dominant force in the PC processor market. This dominance by Intel and AMD has made it challenging for new entrants like Huawei to gain a foothold in the market. What are Huawei's strategies, investments, and innovations that enabled them to make a mark in chip manufacturing? 1. Strategic Initiatives Huawei has sought to integrate the entire supply chain for semiconductors. It has expanded its presence across the supply chain, including in lithography, a key choke point for China's semiconductor progress. It has formed strategic partnerships with other Chinese companies, such as the Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMIC, to develop advanced chips. Huawei has shifted its focus towards the production of AI chips, which has impacted its smartphone business. 2. Investments. Huawei has invested heavily in chip manufacturing. It has reportedly invested $67 billion in its chip and mobile business. It has acquired at least two existing plants and is building three others. It has also bought dozens of companies at various stages of the chip supply chain through its venture capital arm, Hubble Technology Investment Co. Huawei is hiring talents in chip manufacturing and equipment. 3. Innovations. Huawei has developed advanced ships, such as the Kirin 710A, using a 14 nanometer manufacturing process. The company's Mate 60 Pro phone, released in September 2023, exemplifies Huawei's success in supply chain integration. Huawei and a secretive chipmaking partner in China have filed patents for a low-tech but potentially effective way to make advanced semiconductors. For instruction set architecture, the software for executing chip production, China's government has chosen an open-source architecture that was pioneered in the United States, RISC-V. What are the significant breakthrough, partnership, or technological advancement that propelled Huawei to success in chip manufacturing? Huawei's most significant breakthrough in chip manufacturing is the development of the Kirin 9000S system on chip, society, using SMIC's 7 nanometers class fabrication technology. This advanced chip was a surprise to many, as it was produced despite US sanctions that limited Chinese access to the latest lithography machines. The Kirin 9000S Society is believed to be a revised design aimed at improving production yields and performance. Huawei has formed strategic partnerships with other Chinese companies, such as the Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMIC, to develop advanced ships. Huawei's investment subsidiary, Shenzhen Hubble Investment Partnership, has also acquired 40 companies in three years to reconstruct the semiconductor supply chain. Huawei has made substantial advancements in chip manufacturing, particularly with its Kirin 9000 Society and i-focused Ascend chip offerings. The company's advancements in chip manufacturing underscore a broader attempt by China to achieve technological sovereignty amidst international restrictions. Huawei's experience is also encouraging other Chinese technology companies to support China's quest for chip self-sufficiency, developing new hardware and software for that purpose. Huawei's breakthrough in chip manufacturing is a testament to its resilience and innovation in the face of adversity. Meanwhile, the significance of chip manufacturing in the digital age cannot be overstated, as it powers the devices and technologies that are integral to our daily lives and the global economy. The intersection of these two topics underscores the critical role of companies like Huawei in shaping the future of the tech industry. We will continue to follow up on Huawei and its latest chip development and report back. That's all for now and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching our China Tech Update. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like, and share our video. We will bring you more similar contents like this one. Thank you again for watching.